for one participant. I see here will be the fi uh, fifth participant. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your reaction, for our invitation that we've made last minute. We feel coming of the storm. I'm Vla Vladimir Fedorin. I'm the. Uh, we organized a DESA anti corruption forum. And the fifth participant comes in. He is co organizer. And we gathered here in order to tell you about the events that will be held. Uh, in Braverski Petnatsati Center, uh, and um, I ask every participant not to exceed the time limit of four years, uh, four minutes, in order to in order to um, have opportunities for question and answer session. So I will start. I'm going to start corruption is uh, the main problem of our society. And the reason is that we lost Crimea and thousands of people die in the East and there are one uh, million and a half of internally displaced people and people lost their savings and economic depression and uh, people cannot go abroad on holidays and the main reason for all this is corruption. Corruption led Yanukovych to power and also previous uh, presidents and uh, corruption made uh, uh, unfair privatization and we are now uh, at the bottom of our economic situation and we should fight causes of this problem. And this forum is the starting point, and uh, it will give rise to broad uh, movement, discussion, how to fight corruption. And for me, this is a unique experience, and I think that Vasily saw it because uh, he uh, leads the party, but we uh, were at the conference yesterday, and uh, there were some SMS to my colleague that uh, some uh, uh, some SMS uh, came to his mobile, and uh, several times per minute uh, money was sent. Uh, was sent, and this is the evidence that our society is ready to unite, not under some uh, political statements, but uh, in fighting corruption. The system works, it really works, and I'm happy that people are ready to spend their time and even they are ready to provide their money to fight corruption. Thank you very much, and uh, I give the floor to the next speaker. First, I would like to congratulate uh, uh, one of the participants uh, who uh, celebrated his birthday yesterday. Uh, Mikhail, you are given the floor. Thank you very much for invitation. I returned from Warsaw and uh, uh, I uh, will return to our death Saturday after uh, uh, tomorrow. So uh, what I want to say is that we uh, made an anti-corruption forum in Odessa and Odessa anti-corruption forum is the joint action together uh, with our partners uh, and activists both uh, both from Kiev and Odessa and now uh, there are many civil groups that are uh, ready to organize all Ukrainian forum in Kiev this initiative of uh, Ukrainian society what the future of Ukra Ukrainian society and each of us can join. 
and uh, we don't want to have this movement to establish the rules, but we uh, want to join. No, uh, everyone should join, and mm, I am uh, I am proud that uh, we are the part of this uh, self-organization movement, and. Uh, together with the other participants, I will take part in this event. And for me, this is a contribution of a citizen into the course in which we believe. And the same is true about other people, people's deputies, journalists, civil uh, society activists, political party representatives, each of them uh, has uh, his or her position. But despite the differences, uh, together with the people, we should unite and try uh, to uh, fight stagnation. And uh, uh, we all feel that we are uh, that we should go through the situation and to we should uh, save our country. Uh, we should uh, save it from the swamp where some people try to uh, put it. So uh, my speech is brief, and uh, this is a gold standard two minutes. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. You know, now we understand that corruption is really a big challenge, and we should fight it jointly. And uh, now um, many movements take part. These are organizations and several political parties of new type, all of us. We understand that in order to fight corruption, we should cooperate among ourselves. And uh, if you look at the announcement of our briefing, of our anti-corruption uh, forum, uh, there's a number of, uh, that 80% of Ukrainians believe that corruption is problem number one. And uh, the understanding of this problem united all different organizations in order to find solutions. And we understand that it's not enough just to understand that corruption is a problem. We should put effort in order to fight it. And I believe that these efforts uh, should be of all different types. and. Uh, uh, we should finance the uh, fighting with corruption. And uh, I believe that taxpayers of other countries who support um, Ukrainians, but I believe that success in fighting corruption will be achieved when we will finance this fight with corruption by ourselves. And the idea to um, uh, of fundraising uh, is popular now in Ukrainian society. And during um, two days, we um, we uh, received 300,000 grivnas. And uh, now we see that we go into the right direction. Alexander Baravik, you are given the floor. And for me, this is the most important event of the year because for the first time I see how democratic forces in Ukraine gather for a, pers uh, for a purpose. And Sila uh, Lugye, the Democratic Alliance and other uh, parties and uh, coalitions, they have uh, uh, different ideology. They some of them are conservative, some are not, but um, they are united by the same idea that we should fight corruption. And uh, democratic forces should unite, and they should do everything 
uh, to turn Ukraine from the country that is most corruptive, uh, that Ukraine become, uh, becomes the country that is less corruptive than other countries. And we can find the answers only by the joint effort. And I believe that this forum will play its role in this process. Andrei Ligich, uh, Nova Ukraine, new country. Ukraine, according to the corruption rating, is about uh, 150, about uh, like Uganda or some other states. And uh, the task of anti-corruption forum is not fighting with symptoms, with people. It's a fight against the system that is uh, in the tax system, pension fund, it penetrated in all spheres of Ukrainian society. And that's why the key role of the uh, forum is to find uh, systemic ways of fighting corruption, not the systems, not fighting some effects, but to fight the system. And we should understand the future, uh, and we should uh, create new world together. And the format is um, that every person who is a citizen, who is ready to dedicate his life to fighting corruption, he can propose his ideas, and these consolidated ideas will be realized after the forum. And uh, at the this time, uh, there are 5,000 registrations, and we believe that this forum will be the most prominent event of this year. And uh, this uh, final step of the year, it will uh, give um, and contribute to uh, the next year to the, uh, uh, in the, the sphere of fighting corruption. And uh, some people are registered on Facebook, but uh, we shouldn't close the door before other people. So people who are registered, they will take part in discussions, roundtables, and uh, cafes uh, for discussions. They will participate. But of course, people who uh, will come by, by themselves, we shouldn't close the door for them. Uh, they should be provided the opportunity to take part. and. Uh, And uh, I'm ready to go to the regions and uh, maybe on weekends and during my holidays. And uh, we plan as, uh, several uh, such forums in the regions of Ukraine. We will speak to um, communities. And we have uh, four places where we plan to go, both in the east, in the west of Ukraine, and in the center. And we go going to continue this process, this will be an awakening of people and uh, open discussion and, of course, actions. These are not only discussions. We should act. That's what we wanted to say. Sergei, and uh, anti-corruption rave. We are going to have anti-corruption rave. And uh, today is the shortest day of the year. And this is symbolic that uh, the next day this anti-corruption forum will take place. So uh, we fight the darkness in this way. And uh, uh, now I wish that uh, uh, all the participants should ans uh, answer the question and anti-corruption forum. I heard about it. So Saakashvili will, uh, will create his own party. Maybe we should start with the Vasily and uh, everyone will give the answer. Yes, there is such a question. I don't know what Mikhail Sakovashvili thinks about it, but during the meetings of our committee, we didn't discuss such an issue. We created an anti-corruption platform, and for me, this is maybe a third Maidan, but uh, uh, ref of ref uh, that creates reforms. We should uh, fight uh, this Ghidra, this corruption. And uh, I hope that uh, there will be a fiscal liberal party in Ukraine, but it won't happen tomorrow. No one can create a party in a such a short term. 
and we will be glad to see everyone uh, who wants to fight corruption, and we invite people to join and take part in our forum. And uh, the peculiarity of this forum is that we don't bring some ready-made decisions there. So you see that uh, we uh, lost because uh, we won't consolidate it after Maidan. We didn't know where to uh, go. And now we should be ready for the next year. And the task of the forum is to find out what to do in different spheres of our life. Of, uh, in the legislative sphere and the formation of um, civil society organizations in the regions. And uh, this will help to overcome corruption and uh, to, uh, that in order to create transparent uh, Ukraine. So, uh, of course, I would keep uh, the intrigue because different questions were discussed and uh, and um, during the meeting, there was no discussion of uh, the creation of the party. So um, because to create the party is to uh, make it in some sort of a political farce, intrigue. No one knows how the situation will develop. and. Uh, these actions are not centralized. Uh, people take responsibility in different sectors. So uh, they provide a platform for discussion. We don't have uh, ready-made decisions, and this is truth. We don't know what, uh, what the end result will be and uh, about the coalition and budget and fighting corruption and the uh, corruption bureau. Uh, forces, uh, uh, they uh, gather, and uh, there's no unique recipe. And maybe, uh, of course, uh, uh, maybe those people who are corrupt, they should uh, uh, be frightened, maybe, that it will be uh, done. But uh, no one speaks about the party now, the creation of the party. You see that I'm sitting just uh, here near my colleagues, and uh, everything was said already. But uh, it's an uh, organization of the process. We don't have parties in Ukraine. We have political projects. And the last thing that we wanted to do is to create a political project. We need to act. And uh, many projects uh, that were created, they were created uh, to support some interests and uh, to prevent uh, the society from doing anything, actually. And we uh, try to move forward uh, without stop uh, in order to solve these problems. And uh, we shouldn't divide people into party. It's wrong now. And uh, we shouldn't uh, deprive people of their identity because they are the representatives of different parties, different movements. We won't do this. Uh, we try by our diversity, multipolarity, uh, using our different views in different and our different um, experience. We uh, try to unite it in one direction in order to uh, get through uh, the swamp and go uh, forward. We should create uh, consolidated, strong uh, belief and wave that will bring uh, those issues to light. But this is not a party. This is not something formalized, because I don't believe formalized things, actually. and. Uh, uh, this was the, um, it's not interesting now for me. And we should create horizontal relationship and uh, without any uh, political interests. Everyone sa says this, but we believe in it and we do it. Please ask your questions. Introduce yourself first. Ukrainian truth. Uh, um, you are the head of Odessa Oblast, 
Have you discussed with issues, uh, these issues with the president? And what was the last time you spoke to him? Yes, I speak with the president on topic of corruption. And, uh, and the topics we discuss uh, with him openly. I have the uh, responsibility before him because uh, we uh, are openly discuss all these issues. And you saw the reaction of the president, what happened uh, among uh, me and the prime minister and the people of the prime minister at the National Council of Reforms. And I think that uh, the president had his own fair position. And I think that uh, this is my position. When the president appointed me for this post of uh, head of uh, Odessa Oblast, um, uh, based on our um, long friendship and cooperation, that uh, he is um, uh, cooperating with a completely independent man, a completely independent person, and no one expects uh, from uh, this person that he will be dependent on something, and uh, no one wanted uh, uh, to do this. And this was from the very start, and we are speaking now about the interests of the country. And in this regard, uh, I uh, always have my uh, strong position. This position is shared by many people here in Ukraine. Not my position, but this position. And I think that this is in the interest of the state. And the president understands it clearly. But he will state his position by himself. I won't do it for, for him. And when was your last meeting? Yesterday. He phoned me, not about this. Uh, we were speaking about, uh, I uh, met uh, President Duda and the leading party. We spoke about Ukrainian and Polish relationship and about uh, the region. And also, he knew that I had a birthday. And uh, we have a very good uh, friendly relationship with the president. And I, uh, um, I work in Odessa Oblast, and I promote Ukraine because this is very important. In who, and uh, I have my own uh, position as a citizen, and uh, I uh, believe in my uh, strong position in this. So, uh, next question, please. So, no further questions. Join us. I want to thank everyone and uh, to say that it's time to act. It's time to join, uh, despite political positions. And uh, we should change all this. And. We, together, by joint effort, will do this. And everything starts tomorrow. Thank you for coming. Join Anti-Corruption Forum.